why tumor cells uptake more glucose than a normal cell so there is a reason behind this tumor cell uptake more glucose than a normal cell because we can say that the rate of growth in case of tumor cell is more than a normal cell in case of tumor cells the process oxidative phosphorylation is less associated the tca cycle is less associated in case of tumor cell it mainly produce lactate even with the even with presence of oxygen in case of normal cell normal cell does not produce lactate when we provide normal cell enough oxygen but when oxygen deprived conditions occur the normal cell produce lactate that lactate transport to the liver through blood and ultimately in the liver the lactic acid is transformed into the glucose and glucose enter into the blood so this is the process but why tumor cells produced more lactate there are several a effect known as warburg effect warburg effect a scientist explain this process and we can say that in case of in case of in in warburg effect it is stated that the tumor cell uptake more glucose than a normal cell and and more glucose than the normal cell and transport and transform that glucose into the pyruvate through glycolysis process now pyruvate transform into the lactate pyruvate transform into the lactate in case of warburg effect and it is true about that the in case of tumor cell the pyruvate the most the major amount of the pyruvate it transform into the lactate so first we uh, we uh, we see later we see diagram later first we draw so we can easily understand what are the cause the tumor cells uptake more glucose then we we have also the points these are points we later discuss we read it we read it later so first we have to understand what are the process now suppose quickly we we can understand this is the normal cell uh, these are normal cell these are normal cell so this is normal cell normal cell and these are cancer cell so these are tumors not cancer you can say that tumor cells these are tumor cell and these tumor cells shows proliferative proliferative so this is normal cell and this is you can say proliferative tissue proliferative tissue or you can say there is tumor cell tumor is formed so tumor is formed here this is tumor formation soccer this is a normal cell now glucose suppose these are blood blood vessels and these cells uptake glucose so glucose in the blood is uptaken by the normal cell also glucose is uptake from cancer cell now this glucose which is uptaken by the normal cell is transform into pyruvate so this is 
what is the process the process is called glycolysis so during the glycolysis process we can get a two molecule of atp two molecule of atp but this atp is not sufficient this atp is not sufficient to function to to uh, because this atp is not enough because cells have to do many things there are many types of mechanism that are highly depend on atp so the cell needs more atp so uh, now oxidation acetyl co is formed now pyruvate oxidized uh, oxidized acetyl co is formed acetyl co enter into the uh, into mitochondria and ultimately suppose this is a mitochondria so ultimately acetyl coa there is many type of intermediate enter into the mitochondria and within the mitochondria ets cycle ets cycle occur ets cycle occur there are several type of enzymes atp is formed and also the tca cycle so tca cycle occur and ets cycle so we can say the whole process is oxidative phosphorylation so oxidative phosphorylation occur is occurred in mitochondria so oxidative phosphorylation due phosphorylation so due to oxidative phosphorylation we can get enough atp and ultimately a uh, end product uh, where is co2 is formed when pyruvate is transformed into acetyl coa there is co2 is released out and the, this is the waste product so co2 is waste product is wasted product now in case of normal cell h2 is formed energy we can get energy so energy we can get energy from the glucose which is uptaken by the yeah uh, uptaken by the normal cell and h2 is formed because cell needs more atp that is why in case of normal cell if we provide enough oxygen so this is the process of enough oxygen if enough oxygen present the normal cell normal cell uh, um, uptake the glucose the glucose from the blood vessels from the blood and ultimately that glucose transformed into pyruvate through the glycolysis process and this pyruvate ultimately form into acetyl coa and ultimately acetyl coa enter into the mitochondria tca cycle occur nadh nadh fadh formed ets cycle occur so there are several type of ultimately it is formed now the next on the other hand when oxygen deprived conditions occurred when cell does not get enough oxygen it enough oxygen because enough oxygen but it have to maintain it atp content concentration so how it transform the pyruvate into the lactate transform the pyruvate into the lactate lactic acid and now this lactate uh, this lactate is transported to the uh, to the liver uh, through the blood and ultimately in the liver the transported lactate is transformed into glucose so this process is oxygen deprived in case of oxygen deprived condition when we when you exercise a more time your muscles become fatigued because high amount of lactic acid is accumulated in that particular region after some time uh, the, the conditions become normal but in case of so this is oxygen deprived condition o2 deprived so o2 deprived condition so this is o2 deprived condition so when a cell does not get enough oxygen but in case of tumor cells tumor cells uptake a large amount of glucose large amount of glucose so glucose amount is very high and transform that glucose pyruvate this is common in case of cancer cell 
but the most the major amount of pyruvate is transformed into the lactate whether o2 high or less so o2 concentration does not affect the this process so pyruvate to lactate is for the formations and less amount of pyruvate is transform acetyl coa and ultimately oxidative phosphorylation so oxidative phosphorylation is less in case of tumor cells phosphorylation so this is less in case of tumor cell this lactate what is the fate of the lactate so this is called warburg effect you can say this is the called warburg warburg effect so what is the fate what is the fate of the lactate the lactate lactate transported the this lactate transported from the cytoplasm from the cytoplasm into the extracellular matrix and ultimately makes the environment acidic so due to lactate this environment is acidic because tumor cell needs acidic environment to survive because tumor cells does not survive in alkaline condition so it needs acidic condition it have it has to maintain acidic condition now lactic acid this is the first phase now second functions of the lactate is lactate is also provide energy in other in case of other tumor cells so it provide energy it provide acidic environment without the acidic environment environment without the acidic environment the tumor cells does not able to survive so this is the process whole process of the why glucose so this is a differentiated cells differentiated uptake glucose uptake glucose from blood and ultimately pyruvate is formed the major amount of the prior the the pyruvate is transformed uh, the the product of the uh, pyruvate ultimately uh, enter into the mitochondria and oxidative phosphorylation software we can get energy uh, the waste product co2 and h2o but in case of oxygen deprived condition the pyruvate transform into the lactate lactate uh, lactate transported into the liver ultimately in the liver uh, the glucose is formed from the lactate but on the other hand in case of tumor cells tumor cells tumor cells uptake a major amount of glucose from the blood and ultimately pyruvate transform into into lactate whether oxygen deprived condition or not if we uh, supply more oxygen it in the even in this case the pyruvate also pyruvate also transform into the lactate and after that lactate transported from the tumor cell cytoplasm to the extracellular matrix and may and and makes the environment acidic due to acidic environment tumor cells survive and less frequent process it is oxy small amount of pyruvate ultimately takes part in the oxidative phosphorylation process the net product is energy building box because tumor cell needs that is why tumor cell because uh, during the glycolysis process only 2 atp is formed and that is not enough that is not enough for the tumor cell for the growth of the tumor cell so it uh, it it have to compensate that process by acquiring a large quantity of glucose that is why tumor cell uptake uptake uptakes a large amount of glucose because it does not uh, because the oxidative because it cannot trans uh, because the oxidative phosphorylate is less frequent in case of tumor cells it have to depend on the process 
that is glycolysis for the productions of ATP and due to due due to need of a large amount of ATP it have to uptake a large amount of glucose so this is the whole process of uh, a normal uh, whole the whole process of tumor cells that differentiate from a normal cell so now quickly we uh, discuss about the points so more tuber cells have metabolism more similar that of growing embryo than than to that of normal adult tissue so tumor cells uh, act as a uh, tumor cell act as a embryo embryonic cells because it have it shows a high proliferation rate a growing tumor cell needs nutrient in abundance to provide the building blocks to make new macromolecules obviously obviously tumor cells so um, tumor cell needs more raw materials more macromolecules now tumor cells uptake glucose at a rate 100 times higher than so 100 times 100 times higher than neighboring normal cells so it uptakes more from more uh, glucose at higher rate now the these cells means normal cell normal cell use uh, only a small fractions of the imported glucose used for the productions of atp by oxidative phosphorylation normal cell depends on the oxidative phosphorylation for the productions of atp on the other end tumor cells depends on the glycolysis for the productions of atp given sufficient oxygen normal adult tissue cells will generally fully oxidize almost all the carbon in the glucose and they take up to co2 so uh, uh, fully so glucose is fully oxidized in case of normal cell ultimately co2 formed as a waste product but in case of their in case of tumor cells there are no such type of waste product uh, tumor cells produced high amount of lactate and many of the remaining carbon atoms derived from the glucose are diverted for the use of a raw material here the co2 is formed but they but here no such co2 because the waste product uh, waste product takes part in the formations of or synthesis of uh, proteins nucleic acid lipid uh, requirement of the tumor growth because there are more protein nucleic acid and lipid uh, needed for the grow uh, for the growth of the tumor cells tumor cell de-emphasized de-emphasized means blocks the oxidative fraction not completely blocked reduce you can say de reduce so tumor cells reduce oxidative phosphorylations even when oxygen is plentiful means enough while at same time taking uh, taking up large quantities of glucose can be shown to promote the cancer cell growth and is called a warburg effect so what is warburg effect tumor cells de-emphasize oxidative phosphorylations tumor cells reduce oxidative phosphorylations even when oxygen is plentiful means oxygen is enough while at same time taking up large quantities of glucose can be shown to promote cancer cell growth and this effect is called warburkin so this is the whole points if you like the video please share with the friends thank you